All right, how y'all doing? Major Slack here. Let's play Dead Island. Yeah. Uh, press any key to continue. Can do. Wrap the bat here. Uh, let's just ignore that. Play. Here we go. New game. Um, just to show you something here, I am starting out a fresh new game. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Dead Island. So I'm starting a fresh game and I took the trouble to make sure that I loaded up a save that has all the achievements set at zero and all the challenges set at zero. Okay, so that doesn't screw up our leveling up as we proceed through the game. And for those of you who are wondering what's going on with that, if you played a lot of Dead Island and all of a sudden you level up three or four levels, that's what's happening. You're completing some of these challenges and some of these challenges when you get to the higher levels um, they pay you like a whopping 50,000 XP or stuff like that. So you just, that's why you're leveling up really quick. All right, so let's get right to it. Dead Island. Uh, basically an RPG. <laughs> really campy RPG. It's not the classic kind of RPG, you know, with like fantasy dungeons and dragons and stuff like that. This is kind of like set in modern time and it's in first person view. You get to choose four different characters. Logan, the throwing expert. Perna, the fire, the firearms expert. Um, <laughs> okay, I actually looked up how to pronounce her name, <laughs> and I forgot. I think it's Sean. I think it's officially pronounced Sean. Okay, Sean, the sharp weapon expert, and Sam B, the blunt weapon expert, and that's who I'm very proficient in. I've gone through the game at least half a dozen times with Sam B, and that's who we're gonna play as. Let's hear his story. I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two, and that's where he died, Angola. Mama didn't ever recover from that. Just drank and did crack, and any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. But from the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap, and I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bruh. But man, just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? <laughs> Went right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Shit. I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that gravy train wasn't there going in. So I did another song, and another song, and nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Been 10 years, man. And yeah, I could still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? Psh, I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now it's just Reno or Laughlin. It's a motherfucking cruise ship. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice, yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? All right. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Select. Let's do it. Sam B, blunt weapon expert. Uh, basically, baseball bats, wrenches, hammers, sledgehammers, pipes, paddles, <laughs> pieces of wooden planks, whatever. Anything that's, you know, will induce a lot of blunt force drama. So, Sam B, welcome to the island of Banoi, the land of the big-breasted bikini bimbos. <laughs> and if that isn't scary enough for you, there's also a metric ton of blood-sucking zombies. Your mission, should you decide to accept, is to get off this island. You up for it? Huh? I can do that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so you're going to have to forgive me. Um, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim lately, so um, a little rusty at the controls here. <laughs> That's no excuse, Slack. Yeah, I know. No, but I'm going to get up to speed real quick and get back, get back my Dead Island Lakes and get right into this game. Um, first things first, 
Notice the mini map in the bottom right corner there. Uh, the green arrow is S. The dotted line is where we have to go. And the red flag is our destination. Lots to loot in this game. Looting is a big part of the game. Let's open this. Let's get right onto it. Yum yum. By the way, that is not a weapon we can pick up. It's just a tease. Dead Island. Basically an RPG. <laughs> a real campy RPG. Like I said, it's not like the classic uh, RPG. You know, with Dungeons and Dragons and, and you know, fairies and whatnot. <laughs> it's um, set in modern times. And uh, it's first person view. And the enemies are zombies. So it's kind of like a mix between Resident Evil and, well, Borderlands and a classic RPG. You level up, you um, improve your weapons. Your weapons do degrade, so you have to repair them and stuff like that. And, um, well, you see as we go along what it's all about. In the in the opening here, um, I recommend you loot everything. Just loot, you know, like, like crazy, because it's going to help you out. It's going to give you a little leg up on, um, let's just take a look at the inventory here. It's what I got so far, medium med kit. All these items here, these items help you make uh, modded weapons, okay? You're going to, like, get these mods. This Ripper mod, by the way. This came with the game because I bought the game, uh, I pre-ordered the game, actually by a couple of hours, I bought it on the day of the release, and then I'm getting the pre-order bonus, so I don't think everybody has this Ripper mod, you can turn a baseball bat into kind of like this, like, you'll see, <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm going to apply that because not everyone has that mod, I'll do it later on in the game when it doesn't really matter. Doors! I'm um, on the PC version, to bash through doors you pull back on the mouse and then push forward when the when you think that little line there is right in the middle and when it's right in the middle you see the red there you can bust through the door or you just kind of like break the door break down the door's um, defenses and you eventually break through even if you don't get the line in the middle. I'll try to break through on the first shot one of these times continue to loot got that Big difference between Dead Island and Skyrim is the mouse. I've turned down the mouse sensitivity already. I don't want to turn it down anymore because I. Oh, wait, I didn't. Hang on. One second, please. Oh, okay, reset. Okay, let's just turn this down a little bit. There we go. Makes it a lot slower in the menu, but yeah, that's better. Okay, there we go. All ready to go. Yum yum. You can emerge from the opening here with as much as six hundred dollars okay, worth of cash and loot. And usually there's one big pickup. Here we are, a quest destination here, the red flag right there. Hook up with that. New quest, find the elevator lobby. And let's just take a look at the quest here. Which button is it? Uh journal? No. Wait. Nope. Hang on, I'm getting my Dead Island legs here. Here we go. Okay, so first objective was to leave the room. Second objective was to find the emergency staircase. We found it, and now we have to go find the elevator lobby. So, onward. Yum, 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 yum. Here's our weapons. We only have our fists right now. Uh, those are all the weapon slots. As you can see, five of them are locked. Two of them are open. One, two, so we can put weapons in there and quickly switch from one weapon to the other by uh, using this weapon wheel. One thing this game desperately needs, and it doesn't have, is an ability to hotkey the weapons. Um, it really needs that. And they didn't do anything about that, and I don't think they ever will. And I don't think anybody's even made a mod to cover that. By the way, there's dozens of Dead Island mods out there. Oakley Doakley. <laughs> Dozens of Dead Island mods out there. Uh, I'm not I'm playing basically a vanilla version of Dead Island with two exceptions. One thing I is one thing I did was I turned off slow motion um, kills. Every time you do like a special kill, they do like the slow motion version of the kill and I couldn't stand that. So I 
uh, went into the game files and I modded that out. And another thing I did was just like a kind of like a Windows thing where um, actually I'll post those instructions in um, the video description about how to get rid of the micro stuttering uh, when you're walking. When you're walking in the game, it just kind of stutters along and it looks like the, the frame rate's dropping, but it's not. It's actually just, useful. just a flaw in the game. And you can fix that by applying certain sets settings in your Windows um, control panel, and I'll put the instructions in the video description for that. So here's our second quest or third quest destination. Open the elevator hatch, press and hold. Down we go. And there are some of the enemies. <laughs> zombies. They're all zombies in this game. That's another thing. I can see it through the camera. Feeling all right, Mike? The shakes? Fever? Chills? Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're going to have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. <laughs> Whoa. Deja vu. Okay, like, um... Atlas, is that you? <laughs> Were we playing Bioshock or Dead Island? <laughs> no, seriously, that's like almost exactly like the beginning of Bioshock. Seriously. More looting. Like I said, this is worth it. Doesn't last long. We're gonna get to the action soon. So hang tough there. What are we up to now? Seven hundred and forty bucks. So I got a big pickup there somewhere along the line. Jeez, that's the most I've ever gotten. Wow. Okay. Yeah, usually you emerge with between three and five hundred bucks plus uh, some items. I'm gonna have to watch the video back and see where I picked up a big Let's gob of cash or something along the line. Okay, we have to go that way to search these guys, see if there's anything here. We've got a Red Bull energy drink. Yum, yum, yum. Didn't mean to drink that. Didn't need it. And a couple more things to loot down here. Grab that guy. Grab that guy. One more down there. As soon as we go across this trigger line here, a whole bunch of infected are going to come at you. It's the infected. Run. Run to the storage room. Okie dokie. I'm a running. Just a beat farther. Oh, look at here. More loot. <laughs> You're going to get yours. Alright. Prologue. Um, basically, it's finished. Now we're going to get on to missions. Saves. Yeah. The save system is kind of screwed up. It automatically saves. You can't... There's no quick save. Uh, the patches have fixed it a little bit. I'll talk about that after, after this. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body tell you? Move. Stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head. Nod your head, Sam. Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet man. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? All right, up and at him, dude. I'll smack you upside your head for that. What's your story? Should have never listened to Sinamoy. Oh man, I should have left with the others. Well, too bad. What's your story? Had a rough night, eh? Feel like driving the porcelain bus? Had a little too much to drink. I know your story. What's your story? Okay. What's your story? Cat got your tongue, eh? Okay. What's your story? Really? Uh huh. Yeah. What's your story? He's dead. What if he's alive? Uh huh. There's no way in hell he's still breathing. 
<laughs> okay, a lot of panic here. None of the guys are doing anything. Maybe they're distracted. <laughs> Alright, your story. <laughs> You're distracted too, eh? Okay. You guys stand there, they're stupefied. Alright, let's get on with it. Yeah, and then he had one of his cronies almost beat my head in with a baseball bat. I don't know about that. Okay, okay, I'll help the guy. You going out there? Are you nuts? Yeah, why not? Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Help him. Find a weapon. Okay, quest updated. Find a weapon. Find a weapon. Help him. Um Okay, find a better weapon. Uh <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Paddle. All right. All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three. All right. It got me a paddle. Everybody gets a paddling. <laughs> uh, oh, smacking me off the porch. That's a paddling. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Bring it. Bring it on. Whoops, <laughs> you get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh, coming towards me menacingly. That's a paddling. Looking like a zombie, that's paddling. Getting up again, that's a paddling. That's a paddling, and that's a paddling. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Give me your butt money. Down, I says. Down. Give me your butt money. Yum, yum. Okay. Give me your butt money. Okay, red shirt dude. Don't fear. Major Slack is here. I'll be out paddling. There you go. You got any money? Nope. You gotta loot these guys before uh, the cutscene ends. Or the cutscene starts. Otherwise it won't let you get it. Give me that. Alright. So, Richard, dude. How you doing? That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. 